all those Pokemon? Me too. Did you hear that, Lily? We could have been late for the news. Ugh. Hi, I'm Giza. And I'm Lily. And this is the first DSL engineer report of the 2016-17 school year. Week of August 29th. Lily, can you believe Mrs. Terlahi, I mean like Mrs. Terlahi, does not know how to play Pokemon Go? I know, I don't understand how she can. Like, like, everyone knows it. It's like an awesome game, right? Yeah. So let's go see how Mr. Terlahi is doing on Pokemon Go. tell me what the formula for volume was. We had three things. Aurora. Miss Lahe, we need to talk to you outside in private. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'll be right there. Miss Lahe, we called you out here because none of us can believe that you don't know how to play Pokemon Go. I've been busy. <laughs> can you guys help me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon Go is a game where you can catch Pokemon and walk around to collect them. The items in the game are, in are incense, Pokeballs, eggs, lure modules, and raspberries. This is a Pokeball and this is what you use to catch Pokemon. Alright guys, I get it. Let's grab it. here the whole summer, Miss Dallin and Miss Chapman traveled from Palm Springs all the way to Canada. Our first stop was Victoria. Here are the Bouchard Gardens, which are some of those beautiful gardens we've ever seen. See, here we are. Oh, notice how beautiful everything is and the flowers and the greenery. Oh, wolf! Hey, Miss Chapman, and then moving on, we went to the Empress Hotel for tea. Well, we had cookies and candies, sandwiches and tea. Oh, we went over to Banff by airplane. You're looking at Lake Louise. And Lake Moraine, which were as blue as the sky. And the Canadian Rockies, don't forget, 13,000 square feet tall. And this is another really cool hotel that looks like something from a Harry Potter storybook. And look at those mountains. Ah! Bears! Ah! We gotta get back to the desert! Let's go! This summer, my family and I traveled to Oregon. We got to go to Hayward Field and watch my niece try out for the Olympic tryouts. I took my daughters to Voodoo Donuts in Portland for the first time. Kiana picked out a cereal donut. We also went to my sister's store in Multnahoma Village. Gracie got lots of opportunities to ride horses and spend time with family and cousins. This summer, my family and I spent two weeks in northern Michigan. There, we enjoyed riding bikes, swimming in the lake, boating on Lake Michigan, and taking walks, and just being outside, as it's so beautiful and the weather was perfect. 
One day while we were in Michigan, we took a short ferry ride to Mackinac Island. Mackinac Island is located in Lake Huron. There, we did more biking, swimming, and walking, and exploring in the beautiful outdoors. Some of the many sights to see on the island are Fort Mackinac, Round Island Lighthouse, and the historic Grand Hotel. Motorized vehicles are not allowed on the island, so getting around is either by foot, bicycle, or horse-drawn carriage. It felt as if we took a step back in time. The only thing I did not like about my trip to Michigan was that I missed my dog, Allie. But I knew she was in good hands at home, having her own vacation with my good friends, Bailey and Miss Monique. Well, I guess that was pretty interesting. But wait, that was only three out of 30 teachers in our school. So that's only 10% of our teachers. We, we need, need more evidence. Girls, if we're gonna crack this case, we're gonna become detectives. Lawn clippings or lime? I got lime. I just got to see what it lands on. Toothpaste or berry blue? Got it. So it looks like this. Let's hold this. These are going to be clean. Let's <laughs> spin. Today we are going to be eating no! chocolate pudding, chocolate or, pudding dog or canned dog food. Dog food. So this okay. is what we're going to be eating. These brown looking jelly beans. One, two, I'm going to get my water bottle. Uh, also, I'm a director of photography. Uh, if you'd like to read the credits on movies and TV 
these shows, you'll see a different director of photography or cinematographer, because that's the person, man or woman, uh, that's responsible for all the camera and lighting and shot compositions and helping the director or directors tell the story um, with pictures and the visual things. Yeah, so this is our little green screen. Um, it doesn't get much simpler than this. It can get a whole lot more complicated when it's bigger, but... Um, Just by looking at them right now, what, what do we think? What's, what do we see? What do we like? What do we not like? I got into filming, uh, I think because of my dad, who was a still photographer, uh, amateur still photographer. And uh, so I saw him shooting uh, for many, many years. And they, I, my family, or Santa, uh, gave me uh, a still camera when I was like four or five for Christmas. So I started shooting uh, still photos uh, at a very early age. And then also, uh, as a family, we used to go, this was back in the 70s, uh, we used to go to the movies as a family a lot. There was no internet, cable TV was just coming in. So uh, I was became a very big movie uh, junkie. Like I love the movies. I love going to the movies. So being a movie fan and also doing still photography kind of like pushed me in that direction uh, eventually to get into production. Well, the first feature film that I ever worked on, I was a... Uh, I started at the bottom and worked my way up from the bottom like everyone does, but the first feature film I worked on was a really bad horror film called Children of the Corn Part 2. Yeah, not one, part two. Um, <laughs> and it wasn't a very good movie, but the experience I had on the movie, uh, on location, made me know that that's what I wanted to do. My favorite thing about filming, um, well there's a couple things. One, it's never the, the same thing twice. I get to go all over the, all over the world to crazy places and meet amazing people. Um, but what I love about filmmaking is it, it's a team sport. So it's a lot of people, a lot of different people from different backgrounds and different places uh, that have really specialized skills that by themselves would be okay, but as together as a, a group, as a team, can make some really amazing stuff. And that's fun. Enjoy this DSL engineer. How dare you end the DSL engineer report without more? Thank you guys for watching this week's DSL I engineer didn't report. Say that. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. The See you in two weeks.